Okay, let's talk about somebody else that I thought had a pretty crazy situation. Mm. Brian McKnight. Okay, Jesus so Christ, this guy. He has a daughter that he doesn't claim. It's his biological daughter. Her name is Brianna. So he accused her of having a sexual relationship with her cousin. So he made these claims after she came out and told everybody, well, I grew up with an absentee father. Her name is Brianna. Her brother's name is Brian. Oh, then he named the new kid Brian. He named the he new He made a new kid junior. Brian. Imagine That's other, how much he hates those kids. He don't like and, the, and all the kids that he's being shady towards are the black ones, the ones that are more black. Yeah, so I even heard him the other day say that none of his songs before he met his current wife meant anything. <laughs> He was just singing. He's like an evil R&B singer. What is going on with this man? And uh, allegedly in that case, I think that Brian McKnight wanted the sexual history of his daughter and all her partners. I heard a report about that. I read something about that where he wanted her to like explain like what was this relationship? What was that relationship? Because she's suing him. Yeah, she's I, suing saw, him. I see that. Yo, for he's defamation. out of control. Brian, why do you hate your brown kids? I, it's so weird to me because I really do want to get to the bottom. I don't understand how you could be singing all these love songs, but you have so much hate for your own children. Didn't he always look mad, though? He was like a, the mad R&B singer. He was like, his brow was always furrowed. His brow was up. But, you know, I always liked him after he sung uh, during Martin when Gina got mm. proposed to. Mm -hmm. That was always, like, my moment right there. Like, I felt like it was mine. But also, he went on Instagram, right? Mm-hmm. And he posted a picture of his stepdaughter. This is not even his kid at all. That right? he bought the car for? And he said, couldn't ask for a better daughter. <laughs> this guy he is Twisted evil. a knife. What is wrong with him? What could these kids have possibly done to him to make him feel this way towards them? People say that he was mad that he felt like he had to take care of them for a long time until they get older. But like, isn't that what parents do? Yeah, I mean, they're kids. They're your kids that they, you had. They and what and you can love the new kids, but not be so mean to your real kids, well, your original kids. And then the step kid gets treated better than your 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 biological children. That's and you're hurt taking so care of them. What? Why don't you mind taking care of them and buying them cars and doing stuff for them? Like those are your real kids. I can't imagine you renamed another kid that you had, Brian. Because you didn't want your kid anymore? Like, I'm so lost. That's so disrespectful. It's like he threw them in the trash. He discarded them. And then, to make matters worse, he has all his kids' names in his bio on Instagram, and none of them are the black kids. None are the black kids. What the hell is wrong with you, Brian McKnight? You know what, Brian? When you try to holler at me when we did Celebrity Apprentice, I'm so glad I didn't did date you. Did he try to holler yes, at you? Yes, he did. He wanted me to fill out 50 questions. Like He was like, we should... We should ask each other 50 questions and answer them. I was like, Did he send them to you? No, I'm like, I'm not doing that. I want to know what the question is. I know. Were. You should have just did it just for shits and giggles. But I didn't want to lead him on. Like, I was like, I'm good. And he didn't try that long with it. He kind of put it out there, and I was like, I'm good. My spirit was telling me something about, no. What the hell did Brianna do that he's this or Brianna? But what <laughs> is her name, Brianna or Brianna? What did Brian McKnight <laughs> Jr. do to get replaced and you just gonna just make another one? You know, I don't like you no more, L'Oreal. I'm gonna make another L'Oreal. Is that what George Foreman did? No, but he kept them all together. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't disown them. Brian McKnight clearly disowned those kids and then made another one. That's so mean. Brian McKnight, why are you so mean to your kids? What's worse, changing your name from a junior or somebody naming another kid their junior again? Naming another kid when you already That's have crazy. one is like you never even existed in my world. Is he the meanest R&B singer? I want to know the truth. I want to know why, because he's really getting dragged through the mud for what's going on with he him should. and his children. Yeah, I mean, I want to know what the problem is. It seems like he got mad when the kids spoke out about how they were feeling, and he... Like, never forgave them for that. Yeah, but why did you abandon them in the first place? Why were you an absentee father? You were Brian McKnight. You have more than enough money to be able to provide for these children. I think he did for a while. And I saw he put a post up where he said, no, look, here's some messages when it, when it was, like, all good with them. Yeah, because I thought that he had singing videos with Brian Jr. But did you look at the pictures and look at the Instagram will tell you it was, like, 390 weeks ago. Oh. It was like five years, like four years ago. Like it was all the good times before a long time ago. Maybe Nothing they were like, ungrateful little turds. Maybe. Maybe. But do you, okay, being ungrateful, does that make you go make another baby Brian? How far are they dragging this ungratefulness? Like they're going to the media, they're talking about him. She's suing him. So yeah, maybe. But maybe. she's suing him because he implied that she was screwing her cousin. But why is he saying this? I don't know. 
That's a bold But even claim. if she was, why would, that's a family secret you should kind of keep to yourself. You should never expose your daughter's sexual history, like whether it's true or not. Why would you do that? It's weird to me that he's dragging his kids like this. So I don't know. Hopefully they find some sort of middle ground. They did have a family once upon a time. They looked happy. And now it's over. <laughs>